This technique is called the five whys because it uses the question why to get to the root cause or hidden elements of your problem. So let's say, for example, you're trying to decide whether to create a new staff training centre at work. So what we're going to do is ask a series of questions why. Let's start off with why does this matter? And the first reason you would say is, well, it could improve staff morale. So then ask, well, why does that matter? And the answer to that might be, well, staff work hard and need to feel valued. So then you'd ask, well, why is that important? And the answer could be, well, it's important to be rewarded when we're at work. Why is that important? Well, it uh, makes us feel good about ourselves. Well, why is that important? And the answer may come that actually work is about more than just money. By asking why five times, you've travelled a long way from the starting point and you may have found something at the heart of why it's important to create a staff training centre. So then you can carry on asking more why questions. For example, why do I care? Well, it might be that I want people to do good work. So why is that important? Uh, I want people to be happy at work. Why is that important? And maybe the reason is that actually it's important for me to be liked by my colleagues. Again, you're going quite deep into interesting territory around this technical question. There's no end to the variety of different types of why you can ask. Why should staff care? Why should our customers care? You can just keep on going. The trick here is to go for lots and lots of different whys before then zeroing in and picking out the ones you think matter most.